We, the National Football League, condemn racism and the systematic oppression of black people. We, the National Football League, admit we were wrong for not listening to NFL players earlier and encourage all to speak out and peacefully protest. We, the National Football League, believe black lives matter. I personally protest with you and want to be part of the much needed change in this country. Let's bring in Arthur Sims. He's a lawyer and agent representing players in the league. He joins me now from Orlando in Florida. Arthur, really appreciate your time. Just listening to that statement from Roger Goodell, uh, do you think he was genuine in his words, considering that several black players have actually released a video calling for the NFL to acknowledge and say that black lives matter? Well, good morning. It's an interesting development. It's a watershed moment. Uh, whether Mr. Goodell and the NFL is genuine or not uh, depends on action that follows up their statements. I mean, for too long, the NFL was tone deaf, and that's very disappointing because professional sports has always been uh, at the forefront of civil rights. Players like Jim Brown, Muhammad Ali, uh, Bill Russell, Arthur Ashe, speaking up for civil rights issues, particularly for African Americans. So the NFL has a duty and a task. Uh, they need to address some very important issues. But I think more importantly, you see the collective conscience of players who now uh, have this moral imperative and other individuals too as well in society collectively of all different races that are putting indeed a lot of pressure on all of corporate America to respond to this ongoing atrocity. It's hard to sit back and, and watch uh, this video of, of this man being beaten and mistreated, but this goes on every day in our society. And the NFL uh, was definitely wrong. They didn't listen. Uh, and I hope now that they're listening uh, more than anything else, and that their listening turns into action. You say that they have a duty and a task to take action and bring about changes. What are the changes you want to see the NFL make? Well, collectively, they have to put money into policy within the NFL and professional sports, and also within our political justice and structure system. They have to listen to the players and their ideals and solutions. We have to have a, a, a not just a reactive issue, but a prophylactic protective issue. You know, when Colin Kaepernick started the kneeling protest, um, many people in this country made this protest about something it was not. It was not about the flag or national anthem. And they co-opted and perverted the, the, the message. The NFL now has to get it right. They owe Colin Kaepernick an apology. I would like to hear that. They owe this whole country collectively uh, a, a sense of moral and civil rights leadership so that we can influence the laws, the policies, the rules, the issues that cause this systemic injustice each and every day on American soil. I want to just uh, focus a little bit on Colin Kaepernick, for, because for so many people around the world, um, he was the NFL and the sports person we saw taking a knee four years ago. It had some support, but was very widely criticized by the leadership of the NFL. Um, and in that, uh, in that video that we heard there from Goodell, he didn't actually acknowledge Colin Kaepernick at all. And I mean, we all know that Colin Kaepernick hasn't actually played in the NFL since 2016. Uh, do you think that they will actually apologize to him, considering with ev everything now that's, uh, that's going on in the U.S.? If they're going to add substance, I'm hopeful that they will do that at some point in time. You know, in recollection, you look at how uh, many of our sports figures were treated when they stood up for justice and right. You look at how Muhammad Ali was treated and jailed. You look at how other individuals were treated and vilified. I think that this is a time in history where they can get it right. If they correct with substance and with honesty and truth and listening to the things that are going on in society. And, you know, we cannot hide behind uh, uh, issues anymore. We have to have the hard conversation, difficult conversation. And listen, I, I heard a, a sports broadcaster on, on television say that we can't be blinded. I use the flag as a blind to prevent us from seeing things that occur every day. You know, we all collectively owe Mr. Kaepernick a, a debt of thanks, but also an apology for for really, you know, this, this young man stood up, took a knee, lost his career, was vilified, and it showed that he was on the right side of history and on the right side of justice.
The right side of history indeed. Arthur Sims, really appreciate your insight into that story. Live to us there from Orlando.